It's a night of longer racing as a rule at Happy Valley. There are a few over the 1200, but uh, 1650 and 1800 well utilised start distances, including for race number eight. Super Bella at the top of the book, only one pound more than he carried to beat co partner elites in June. We've got above going from the 1650 to the 1800 metres. Super Oasis, he carries three pounds more than his win on the 13th of July. Nearly fine, he carries two pounds more than the win a couple of weeks ago. Comet Splendido up in trip from the 1650 to the 1800 metres. And Robot Warrior Nicky's on the seven day backup and gets that three pound claim for Jack Wong. Let's take a look at the speed map, shall we? Over a bit of a trip, um, good to slow, predicted. Perfect Marinol, uh, one that can possibly go forward. Plastoids, another one uh, who can show a little bit of pace from time to time. Didn't manage to do so last time, but um, they might well press on this time in. Uh, Romantic Combo and Super Oasis um, shouldn't be too far away. And Comet Splendido, uh, Paul, looks to, to get a nice run just behind them. Yeah, just about midfield. I think Super Bella likewise as well. Robot Warrior will be under a ride from the start. That's how he normally um, normally goes. Uh, nearly fine. He came from the back last time, and from his draw, I expect him to go back as well. But Perfect Marinol's led in the past. Blastoise, they're both drawn wide, so they'll probably come across together, I thought. We're going to start with an interview and Vincent Ho. There's only one man going better than him in Hong Kong at the moment. That is Zach Purton. Vincent sitting on six, and if he's going to make it at least seven, this is why things nearly fine to win the last. Vincent, nearly fine. Um, provided you with a, a big win last time at, uh, at Happy Valley when coming from near last to first. Um, goes up in trip on, on Wednesday night. Uh, looking forward to, to riding him once again? Yeah, definitely. I know 18 is probably even better for him. Uh, you know, got got the one for a little more, uh, should, should him more. Uh, you know, from a wider gate this time, you know, I think similar tactics uh, should perform well. Just as an overall assessment of that last performance, obviously there was a, a pretty decent tempo. Is that key to this horse's chance? Uh, one of it as well, uh, but you know he he got a good turn of foot, so uh, even you know of course a better tempo if it better, will be ideal. But if not, he can still truck up nicely uh, with some sort of position, and he can still run home really strong. And just the way the the, sort of the, the race has worked out, Vincent, he's only got a, a two pounds more to carry than what he, he did last yeah. time. Do you feel that he, he finds a nice opportunity to perhaps be able to go back to back? Yeah, I think so, because, uh, you know, it didn't go up too much in weight with the rating, so definitely helps. The team, have they been pretty happy with him since that win? Have you managed to, to have a chat with Casper? Or sit on the horse better still? Uh, no, I didn't have a chance to sit on the horse after that, but, uh, you know, I, I, I'm fully trusted with uh, my old boss. He did a really good job with horses and, and uh, definitely can win back to back. No better man for Happy Valley, I suppose. Oh, definitely. <laughs> uh, just finally, Vincent, obviously, um, after what, what transpired on the weekend, it was you're the man that, that rides Golden 60. Um, what was your impression of the win of California Spangle? Now, there's plenty of talk that the two may well meet again. Um, mm. From a, a rival jockey's perspective, what was your take on his performance? Yeah, I respect the horse a lot. Uh, you know, both horses definitely uh, good horses. Uh, California Sprango is, you know, young and upcoming. Uh, and Golden 60 is uh, seven now, so it's going to be interesting. But, uh, you know, of course, it went impressively uh, the other day. and. Uh, you know, the, of, of course, the tempo is a bit slow. No, no, only one leader in the race, but uh, you know, it's still, still, good, very good performance by him. It's like a trial for him. So, yeah. bet you'd have to take him on with the champ though again, wouldn't you? Oh, I can't wait for the group race to come and bring him on. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just need to be a bit more patient. Uh, we'll trial soon uh, and some, some more grass gallops. Uh, make sure is you know we target for December. So make sure is have some sort of uh, fitness because uh, we only have one race before December. So uh, definitely target December. Yeah. Vincent Ho there, the rider of Nelly Fine, who's come back in good form after a break. We move on, Nick, to our next replay. This is Super Oasis. Uh, this is at the back end of last season. He and Comet Splendido do battle again. They both be home Nelly Fine this night. 
Yeah, that's it. And, and poor old uh, Comet Splendido, he's, he's bumping into a couple of um, a couple of horses that have beaten him in the past. Super Oasis is nearly fine. But look, all good runs in this race. Um, I think you have to give him plenty of credit, Super Oasis and, and Comet Splendido, of course. And um, and the form's working out well, Paul. Yeah, it is. Look, he just beaten, wasn't he? Comet Splendido, I thought it was a good run. Super Oasis, look, he lost his way. He did this horse. And since he moved to Tony Cruz, obviously the new environment has, has, has helped him because he's uh, he looks a little bit more genuine now. He's won two from his last three, has Super Oasis. Finally, Paul, we check out Super Bella's win over the 2,000 metres. Robot Warrior we saw last week in Natural Storms in this replay too. Yeah, Robot Warrior worries me because he's a bit of a monkey, isn't he? He plays up and carries on. But Super Bella, he carried the weight here, which was uh, a key, I think, 134. He's got to carry 135. It's only that one pound more. This is over 2,000. 1,800 holds no fears, though. Uh, for him, he's already won over that distance here at Happy Valley. So, look, I... I think Super Velo um, will run a good race. I've concluded him. Yeah, big weight, probably a little concern, I suppose, um, going up in weight, but only carries an extra an extra pound. As for the other two, um, Robot Warrior and Natural Storm, found it hard to, to fancy them here. Absolutely. So uh, who wins the last, Paul? I think Comet Splend Splendido can win the last. He's looked good in all three of his runs, just beaten last time. Uh, nearly fine. It was a strong win from him last time. Uh, he came from the back. I think he'll have to do something similar. Uh, Super Bella, he goes in there for third. One we haven't talked about there, SJ Torbian, just sitting there on a minor line. He's a horse whose uh, best run, I thought, was the back end of the season where he ran a really nice fourth behind uh, leading fortune. And uh, his work's been good leading into it. So I wanted to include him from a low draw. Seven, six, one and four. Yeah, also with Comet Splendido here, I think he's building up to a win and hopefully uh, Wednesday night could be uh, be just that. So he'll go on top. Uh, his form looks pretty good and it's worked out quite nicely um, since uh, since then. Uh, SJ Turbion, I've put him in as well. I think he's an interesting runner. He's um, he's with Douglas White for the second time, uh, having a, a race day start. And uh, his run at the end of last season was not the worst. Uh, nearly fine in for third. He's obviously a horse in form and so too Super Oasis needs to go in as well. Seven, four, six and five. And there you have it. That is the preview for the last of the eight races coming up on Wednesday night at Happy Valley.